Hello everybody, Meg Rants for the Kids here once again. This time, I felt like sharing with you something that I've been thinking about a lot in the past year. Especially now that we're coming up on July 4th, the tragic day in which we lost the talented Kazuo Kazuki Takahashi. And that is how I feel that of all characters, Weevil Underwood was one of the most important and most instrumental in the success of the Yu-Gi-Oh! franchise. I know that that's a big statement, but one that I feel is true, and that I have some supporting evidence for. First off, we have to state the obvious. Weevil Underwood's voice, in both the Japanese and English dub, is perfectly crafted to annoy you. <laughs> what are you laughing about? What's so funny? He has one of the most despicable and mean-spirited attitudes, and on top of that, he has an extremely punchable face. Everything he does in the series is self-serving, hateful, and many times downright horrific. Because his actions aren't even justified beyond his own greed and pride, he's actually one of the most evil villains in the entire series. This brings me to my second point, which is that because of how despicably evil and conniving he is, he brought us one of the most memorable moments in the entire series, and one that so many people who have never even played the game, read the manga, or watched the show remember. The Dura Monster Kado scene. Weevil convinces the Pharaoh that Yugi, his partner and friend, has a soul trapped in a card that Weevil is holding in his hand. And without a second thought, Weevil rips the card in half right in Atem's face, leading the pharaoh to believe that Yugi is gone forever, and understandably is sent into a rage, and we get the iconic moment played out from there. It's hard to believe that this all came from a filler arc too, isn't it? But while that moment had a large impact on the widespread nature of this series to this day, I think there's another iconic moment that was infinitely more important to the series and its success. At the genesis of Yu-Gi-Oh! as a series, we saw Yugi duel against Kaiba and went with the all-powerful, legendary Exodia. It was an extremely memorable and thematic moment of the series where because of his trust in his grandfather and the encouragement of his friends, Yugi was able to push on and win when there seemed to be zero chance of success. I personally love this iconic moment and think that it did a lot to bring forward what Kazuki Takahashi was trying to do with Yu-Gi-Oh. However, winning once with Exodia is a spectacular thing and something worth cheering about but if Yugi had kept on playing those cards in his deck, a large amount of tension would have been lost in the series. Anytime Yugi draws a card, especially with something like Card of Sanctity, everyone would just be thinking, oh, well, he's just going to draw Exodia now and win. It doesn't matter. And if he did manage to win multiple duels using the same exact five cards over and over again, that would be incredibly boring for the audience. So, it was necessary to remove Exodia from Yugi's deck and allow the main character to expand his strategy and always keep you guessing of how they might get out of every situation. Well, in comes Weevil Underwood, the scum of the planet, lower than any earthworm, pretending to be nice and asking Yugi to see his cards. Then, when he does 
Does he steal them? Sell them? No. He's so vindictive that he throws the cards right into the ocean. So these are the cards to summon Exodia. For a long time, I've been trying to come up with some kind of strategy to finally beat these cards. But I couldn't come up with anything. Until just this moment. Huh? Say goodbye to Exodia! These cards that were so super rare and something that he got from his grandfather to save his grandfather's soul right in the ocean. It's a horrible, villainous, and sick thing that he did, but it was something that had to be done for the series to continue. And that is the reason that I think Weevil Underwood is one of the best and most important characters in all of Yu-Gi-Oh!